Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here with Roxy's Challenge. Oh gosh, what is it? 31, 32, I don't know. It'll be in the in the title. So we are gonna make these little pockets that Rachel made. Um, let's say hi and hugs first to Darcy, Colleen, Sonia, and Linda. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, so I have a variety of book pages here. So we are going to kind of get these to the point of being able to make them into the pockets that Rachel made this time. Um, vellum pockets. And, oh, they're going to, I think they're going to be really fun. Okay, I'm just going to kind of even off the edges a little bit. This one's super crumbly. Um, I am going to try these floral book pages as just a little variation. We'll make some of the ones that, um, that Rachel made first just to get ourselves going. Um, let's see. I just grabbed a variety of book pages. These are super old. I don't even know if they're gonna withstand withstand the pressure here. Okay, and these ones, I think I'm gonna cut these off where the text starts because they're they're fairly wide. These will be good for stamping on. And do this side too. Okay. I don't know. We may need to cut them down a bit more. I don't know. This um, Italian dictionary I thought would be fun. So. Again, save those for stamping. Um, and then I'm going to go here too. Maybe I should have done that on that last one. I think I should have. So, do I want to keep that top? Maybe not all of it. Just go like that. Um, so, I hope everything's going great in your world. We have had... Yesterday we had a little rain, and so all of my complaints about the smoke and all, we had a little respite, which was lovely. Um, it's back today, but, <laughs> but we had a little bit of a, a little bit of a break in it. Oh, I better keep that. That's kind of nicely yellowed. Okay, um, and then um, my glue book here, I wanted to use a few pages from that. I'm just going to take three off of there, and we will just kind of... So Rachel said she saw this idea on Pinterest, which... You know, that was a good reminder for me. I, those are going to be super skinny. I don't think that's going to work great. It's going to be too little. Fold that in, fold that in. It's going to be super little. So maybe those don't work as well as I would have liked. That's all right. I'll use the, use it either for gluing or, um, collage or something. Okay. So now, um, so now we fold them like this, I guess. See, this is going to be a tall pocket. So I might cut that off a bit. Anywho, yeah, we had a little respite. It was very, it's very nice. Much needed rain, so that was awesome too. 
let's just get this up here because I think some of these just might be a bit too tall. I almost think I could get two out of this one. I think I'll do that. So this one's folded, right? And this one just needs a little fold up at the bottom. And that's another one. Okay. Let's do these. They're not going to have any text to speak of, except where I fold it crooked. <laughs> um, on the sides, but the, pa the paper's really yellowed and nice. I guess this side will have a little text. Okay, that's kind of a tall one, but that's good. Rachel did different sizes on hers, so we'll, we'll do the same. Yeah, so the rain not only got rid of the smoke for a little bit, but it also cooled it off a little bit, which was lovely. <laughs> we had the window open last night by the couch just while we watched TV and it was so nice to have that kind of cool breeze coming in. Oh, it was just lovely. Oh, and we watched such a good movie last night. I feel like one of you may have suggested it to me, but um, it was called Five Feet Apart. So good. So good. Your pal Gail was sniffling. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so good. I immediately texted my daughter Joni because I knew she would just love that movie. And um, she said, yep, I've already seen it, Mom. And I read the book. <laughs> so, yeah. Um that was good. It was one of those ones that makes you feel very grateful for what you have and you know where you where you are because some people don't have it as as good. That's like seven inches. That's I think I'm gonna cut all of these off. So, I'm not measuring precisely. I'm making a pile of these, guys. <laughs> really making a pile. I'll just do one more of these. <laughs> so, oopsie. There we go. So... we go. That one cut off. Okay. Call that good on those. And then I wanted to do, definitely do the Italian book page or dictionary page. Yeah, you really need to use a bit wider book page for this. Otherwise your pockets super skinny, which it would be good for like a traveler's notebook or something, but yeah, see that one's six. That's not so bad. I'll leave one long one and then we'll cut these ones down. I'm going to use the whole video folding because I got so ambitious with my book pages, but really once you get past the next cutting part, this goes really pretty quickly, so I want to decorate one for my um, Naomi fairy journal, and then I also want to decorate one for the purple journal that 
um, I'm kind of sort of working on. Now that I've started the fairy journal, I'm not really working on it, but I started it. Let's just say I started it. Maybe we'll just do this one in between. Okay, then these, I know they're going to be a little different, but I'm figuring if I ink them, it might be okay. They're kind of thick. These are from this book. Oops. Wildflowers of Britain, month by month. Margaret Erskine Wilson. So, um, I'm sure I just got it on uh, Amazon. Yeah, so I don't know, but I kind of, okay, yep, we're going to try this. Grabbed in my bone folder, couldn't have I? Okay. All right, well, we got a lot of them. <laughs> That's okay. Let's, now we're just going to clip the corners on them all so that they fold nicely. Just go through the pile. So what else do I have to tell you? Not much. It's been kind of a quiet beginning to the week around here. I've just been videoing like crazy because we're going to babysit our granddaughters this week. Have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, which is good. This one with the cardiologist. Since, since I went to talk to him about my medications earlier to see if they were causing this rash, and they found a heart murmur. <laughs> Hi, Bay. If it's not one thing, it's three, isn't it? Oh my goodness! But so I get to get to have my little Holter heart monitor for a few days, and. An echocardiogram tomorrow. And so that'll be good. I'm going to see what's going on. And then next week, I have the dermatologist to see if she can figure out what this rash is from. Because I finished my steroid second treatment of steroids. And it's back. Didn't work. So I'm going to tell them I don't want to do that anymore. Crying out loud, twice is enough. And it's not working anyways. So, I'm just going to say no thank you to that anymore. Unless they think, oh, well, if we put her on a higher dose or something. I don't know. We'll see. I don't like being a mystery. <laughs> That's what my doctor said. You're just a mystery. I don't like it. Ew. But, I mean, I am starting to feel kind of puny from the rash. It makes me feel kind of yucky on the inside, too. I don't know. I don't know. You guys have had all sorts of ideas, but, you know. I'm, I'm going to all the doctors I can go to, so we'll see. I'll let you know if they ever figure it out. And I'll let you know if they don't. <laughs> because I'll be like, I feel puny. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, this is the little recipe one. It's super cute. I love this um, old recipe book that I have been using the pages out of. They're super sturdy pages, which makes sense for a 
cookbook, I think, because, you know, you're grabbing at it with wet hands or that one I didn't get very good. Um, you know, they take a little more abuse than other books. Okay, so we did that. Now we're to the vellum and why'd they throw that one over there? I don't know, but we're going to make it. Um, anyway, the vellum, I had bought some. I'll show it to you. I don't know, other than to um, search it. I think I bought it on Etsy, but I can't remember where. So, Signature Collection by Sarah Davies, Vintage Diary. And this is all vellum. So I want to use some of that. I have, of course, my Timmy vellum. I have clear vellum. And then I have some that I printed. This is um, Paper Blossom Art. This one is my 1907 recipes from my shop. And this is one of my feed sack fabrics uh, from digital from my shop. So that's what we have. I think first off, we're going to try the variation and see how it works because that's just going to use plain old vellum. I want to use the plain because I want those flowers to show through, right? Okay. I need a pencil to mark with, don't I? Got it. Okay. So we're going to to go in just slightly. We're gonna go there and we're gonna go here for this one. Okay, I'm gonna need you again, Mr. Chomper. So as far as the vellum goes, I just get mine at the office supply store. So I don't know. If you have a office supply store in your town, it's an easy place to get it. I'm going to set this aside. I don't know that it's going to fit anything, but we'll see. So it's a little tiny bit long. here. Okay, so that works. Cute. Okay, I'm not going to glue it yet. I'm just going to get the vellum, the vellums cut. Let's cut the vellums. <laughs> I kind of like saying the word vellum. Okay. So I'm going to learn something here and Cut that a little bit shorter than the mark. Okay, let's see, let's do it this way. Again, as I cut, I always try and keep the biggest scrap possible. And I'm going to cut that down a little bit. Let's see how that fits. A little too wide. Just a skosh. There we go. I like those. So I'm going to, um, could I just stress those up beforehand too? Okay, so here's one we can use a, we can use a, um, patterned one. Let's do this one. Okay. Uh, doesn't matter if it's got white at the bottom. It's not going to show, right? I'm going to go in a little bit from there. Okay. And over here, we're going to go a little bit there. 
Okay. I can go this way first. I'm trying to keep my eyeball on the mark. Oh, oh gosh, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, right there. Okay. And there. Okay, let's see. Ooh, that one's cute, isn't it? really cute okay I'm just going from I'm just going from thing to thing I need my bigger one yes just kind of want to do one of each pattern and then we'll go from there these off of here and then we can go from there. Okay. It you know, it really does never cease to amaze me all the I don't know how that's going to be on Oh, it's going to be good. Um I'm going to do one of the taller ones. Yes. Um, all the different ideas is what I was trying to spit out there. It's just, it's amazing. And maybe right about here. Yeah. A little long, so I guess I have to go this way. You know, just when you think all the ideas have had to been done, tried, and all that. Another idea comes along. Okay, that means just a tiny bit off the top. Okay, there's that one. Cute. Okay, um, now I want to do this one. want these to go this way okay that's okay we can do that okay didn't worry about cutting off the white on the side because it's going to be under the under the flap anyway. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, I like that one. Okay, cool. Okay, we'll do a couple more just using this other vellum and then get busy. Okay, there's a piece already already done, but I'm kind of thinking like, wouldn't that be pretty? That could be pretty. I 
think we'll do this one. This one would be good too. Might as well use some of that too. Okay. Need the bigger cutter. Let's see. What? I think I'll try and use maybe this corner. Taller one, this one. this one. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Where's my marks? Here we go. Right here. There you are. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty too. Like that. Um, let's use let's use some of this. Let's see. Do I have one that's this height? Doesn't look like it. Nope, I don't. Nope, I don't. Mm, I don't like it that much, so I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it. Let's see what Timmy has to offer us here. And then we'll use up some of the scraps. Ooh, there's a good one. And... What else do we have for scraps? We have this, which would be cool. And this, this isn't Tim Holtz, this is something else, but what about that? Okay. Have all sorts of cleaning up to do with all this vellum all over everywhere. Okay. Ooh, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Ooh, look at this guy. Would he? No. No, he wouldn't. Okay. All right. Well, let's do this one. Okay. I should check my time. T completely have lost myself in this one. Rachel said I was going to like it, and she was right. This is fun. Okay, that one goes in there. Cute. A little wide. A little bit wide. Want it to be able to fold around it. I think that's good. Yeah, that's a pretty one. Cool. Okay, let's do this one. Um, actually, let's do this one. It's pretty there okay let's see i would rather have it up more of the rows i want more of the rows oop broke my 
pencil. I was trying to make it a really dark mark. Okay. one with this big old writing. That's kind of cool. Okay. Where am I? I'm on this one. <laughs> okay. That's cute. I'm almost wondering. Yeah. I'll put this one with this. There we go. Okay, there's only two more, so let's just do them. Okay, that one, when I glue it, I'm going to go up to the top a little bit. All right, so what do we have left? Is this too skinny for this? Actually, that'll work. I think I'm just gonna do that. Gonna have to be careful when I glue it, but it's okay. Might as well use up the scraps, right? So. These two I need to be careful gluing. And I just have one more. Let's see, I'm gonna do again, I can use that. I just need to be careful when I glue it that I move it up. Okay. We did that part. Now we glue in and then we decorate. Let's see how we do in time wise. Okay, we're gonna have time to decorate a few. Yeah, the whole uh, time element of this challenge I have pretty much let go of. <laughs> okay, I think what I'm gonna do is just push this down and then glue the sides. Just kind of it's a pocket let's see so I want this to be at the top there we go but then we just glue the sides down yeah so I'm gonna go. I don't remember how Rachel did it, if she did it in and then put that up, but that's what I'm doing. Okay, there's not a ton of that showing, but I really like it. Okay, yay, there's one. And then, and then there's the pocket. Okay, so this one. Um, on the other ones, I won't glue down the vellum. This is just because these are a bit small for what I'm doing here, but that's okay. I guess I could still just do this, couldn't I? Yeah, that's what I'll do on the next one. I'll just get it positioned and then put these down. that one <clears throat> okay you could also you could distress these beforehand I'm not going to I think they're fine like they are the 
this part's pretty fast. Let's get you positioned properly. There we go. Yeah, that works fine. Yeah, and then that these are these are going to be tighter because the vellum is glued down, whereas this has a little kind of an opening, which is good. Okay, let's buzz through these. We're going to have a bunch of these made up ahead of time, aren't we? So my pal Amy, when I was talking about the smoke and everything, Amy from Crafty Cat, she said, aren't we grateful for our craft rooms? And I said, yes. Yes, we are. I'd I'd go bonkers <laughs> my craft room. And without you guys to talk to. Oh I'd be, I'd be here talking to myself. Mike would have called the men in little white coats. She's gone off the edge, kids. Ooh, this one's great. It's really a um yellowed book page these are awesome Rachel I really love these I wonder if next time I was wondering if she will do tags to go in these or something but don't know she's going to be off her normal schedule next week she has something she has to film on Ooh, that's a little wide Oh, I guess I got it. Yeah, got it. Um, she's going to put her video on on Tuesday instead of Monday. She has no idea how she's messing with my schedule. <laughs> I watch her video Monday night. On Tuesday, I film it for, and then I schedule it for Friday. And that's what I do every week. <laughs> she's, she's really... Um, messing with my OCD a little bit. <laughs> it's okay, Rachel. I can, I can manage. It's good to be flexible. Oh, but yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, she's doing something for Junie Desiree, I think. So. So I just need to adjust my schedule. That's what needs to happen. Okay. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. This one with the writing is going to be really fun too. I was worried that the dictionary page was a little thin, but it's okay. It's going to be fine. And you could put a thumb hole in the vellum if you wanted before, you know, before gluing it down. Oh, I like that one too. Very neutral. And these don't require a ton of decoration, so the decorating should go fairly quick as well. Kind of fun to have a, a quick project, you know, something that if you just have a half hour or something, you could knock out five or six of them. Okay, then there's these with the, uh, which I wanted to, I wanted to um, distress these before gluing them. I 
And it's just, I, I really am doing this just because it's super white. So I thought I would like it better if it was distressed. And I do. husband up there walking around clunk 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 okay oh okay all righty then let's glue these bad boys oh maybe I want to just so it blends in yeah that's better okay gosh and we've got them all done except for the decorating so by done I mean not done <laughs> okay get this positioned. Ooh, I really like that. Look, you can see the book page behind it. And you can make this one a floating because look at how pretty the back is. I think I'll do that. Right? Super cute. Okay. Very sadly, all the peas in our garden are spent. We're all done with our fresh peas. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. Mike did freeze one bit, like a bag of them that we can put in a stew later on, but we ate, we ate the most of them, um, fresh, just in salads and stuff. Oh my gosh, they're so good. I love them. But now the corn's getting ready, so that'll be good. Look at that one in between. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so decorating. Let's see how we doing. Oh, we've got 15 minutes is all. Well, I just had myself some fun with that. Let's see. I want um I want to do a fairy one because I want to put one in that journal. Kind of wondering about one of these. She's so cute. Hmm. That's really cute too. I feel like kind of want something down the sides. Um, I actually have these little things from that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know that I need something down that side if I have that. I'm just going to do that. I think that's cute. Just get a little bit of the white from fussy cutting off of there. Okay, that was, that's fun. Got one done from a fairy journal. Don't know that, well, that one's purple. Maybe I should do this one for the fairy and do that for my pur purple journal. Just 
This one's purple too. G scale. little girl these fairies came from a sheet that I bought at a local craft store you know how I think red lead stamps sells sheets of images like this oh my gosh that's cute okay We'll continue on. I probably only have what? Oh, good. I have about 15 minutes. Okay, still. Okay, so we did that little fairy. That was fun. I'm just kind of looking through here, see if there's anything else. I've got this little something from a, probably from an Etsy purchase. A thank you. I think this is a Tim Holtz flower. I don't know if it's going to be. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Just try and use a few things out of this little ephemera folio. I do think I'm just going to go around the edges of this. Not the inside edges, but just a little bit on the outside. Cute. Okay. And honestly, I don't think this needs anything else. Just that flower. I mean, I could put a little label maybe right there. But part of the thing is you want it to be able to see what's behind it, too. So. Just put that right there. Um, I will grab... reach I was thinking about like a little red label or something right there yep yep okay we'll do that too <laughs> and then there's a butterfly in this little packet that I'm wondering if it will go with something here this is really fun Rachel I really enjoyed this one and I I love the results. It's awesome when you have a good time doing it and you like you like what you're making. It's always good. Okay. Yeah, that's a cute one. Okay. So I was looking at this butterfly. I think I'm just gonna do that. He's got a bent antler. <laughs> it's so funny, you guys, when when people new to my channel are like, antler, what? <laughs> like somebody said, that's an inside joke. And I said, well, <laughs> it kind of is. For those who've <laughs> been following me for a while, they know what I'm talking about. They know a Montana butterfly when they see it with its antlers. Yeah, I really like that. It's very simple, but simple yet effective, wouldn't you say? Get a little glue on the old antlers. <laughs> yeah, and I like it just right down here at the bottom. Okay, now the only other thing I'm kind of thinking about with this, and I don't know, let's try it, 
is, oops, is there's this label right here. I was thinking about putting it across there. Nope, I don't think it does anything for it. I like it just as it is. Okay. So, let's dig around and see what else we've got in here. Uh, we've got stamps. We've got, we've got things. Ooh, we've got some giant butterflies. We've got a pretty, pretty rose. Ew. So, um, we could do, like... I might do a bird, maybe. Um, Rachel didn't do any birds. She did flowers, mostly. I love this owl. <laughs> he looks like he's surprised. He's like, hello, <laughs> I'm an owl. I like the, that a little bit better. Okay, what about? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. And then, I think I might do one of my friend Lynn's labels with it. Let's see when, where are you? Are you up here? Nope. Let's see. Are you here? Nope. <laughs> what did I do with you, Lynn? Oh, you're over here. See, I'm just kind of wondering about a these labels right there. I like it. Okay. Just need to glue. Whoa. I love owls. Do you guys know, has anyone done a digital of just owls? If somebody has, would you let me know? Because I love them. They're always, you know, part of a bird kit, but I just don't know if anybody's ever done, like, all owls. It's a kindly owl. Okay. Kind of feel like I need something right there, too. Um, it's a little big, but something like that. Yeah, I'm going to put that right there. There we go. And there's that one. Okay, this one I'm feeling like I'd like a Tim Holtz guy. Or a guy. I don't know if I can get any more on my desk here than I've got going. <clears throat> and I just need like a single guy. Because... These all doubles. Yep, that's the groups. Okay. 
Oops. I think I have the solos back here. Yes. Good. Okay. I need a, I need a guy. I don't want a sitting guy necessarily. Where are you? He's a cute guy. Yeah, I like him. I need a ticket or something for him to put his hand on. Sliding off my chair. You're about to lose me, people. My britches are slippery. Let's see. Um, I might do this green because the vellum has a bit of green in it. Kind of like that. We'll put those on and see if we think it needs more. Just frames out the pocket a little bit. Okay. Let's see where we need you to be. He's got his feet on the ground and right about there. Okay. Here. And then this little guy. We'll decide if we need anything else. I don't know. This might do it. There you go, little dude. That's kind of good for a more masculine journal, isn't it? I was just going to look. I guess that's all gone. Okay. I don't know if I want something up there, but you know, you can always put something in if, um, or stamping or something when you, when you put it in a journal. Okay. I've got seven more <laughs> going. We're out of time, but we, we have some we can make later on. So that's good. But how many did we get done? Let's let's focus on that. We got five completed. That's pretty good, I think. So I'll show them to you up close. So there's that one. And see how you can see the book page in the back? Here's the little guy we just did. Here's Mr. Owl. Here's the butterfly. And then there's this one. So thanks, everybody. Thank you, Rachel, for another fun challenge. I loved it. So have a grateful day, everybody. We will see you in the next video. Bye.